Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Cindy Zhao. Her birthday was on July 15th, so happy belated. And Cindy wants to know, do I think the twins will make it past the fifth eviction? <laughs> yes, I do. Obviously that email was from a while ago, but thank you so much, Cindy, uh, for your message. All right, so last night, just a quick recap, but Becky was evicted six to zero. Uh, we got some confirmation that a juror will definitely be returning next week, and this week, <laughs> Homer! And this week, we get Zingbot. How exciting is that? Homie, stop! Uh, so Zingbot's gonna have lots of material to work with, so it should be really exciting. All right, so the feeds came back after the show was over for the rest of the HOH competition. Now on the show, we already saw that Meg was the first one out. The big surprise, right? All right, so the next one out was Julia followed by Vanessa. I believe Vanessa was eliminated for, you know, like, not pressing down her buttons all the way or whatever. So then, uh, it was down to the guys. It was all the guys left. The final four guys. Uh, so James kept trying to fake them out. He was pretending like he was going, and everyone was like, James, stop! Oh my gosh! Uh, so then the next person out was Johnny Mac. No! Uh, followed by Steve, who was also a false start. So that means that it came down to James and Austin. And Austin won the HOH. Oh. I can't deal with another week of Austin and Liz doing stuff in the HOH room. I can't do it. I can't. Um, but is he going to have the guts to take out Vanessa this week? I don't know, because on one side, um, he was all like, last week, yeah, even if I'm HOH next week, I'm going to have to take out Vanessa, and he's all, I want to make a good show, blah, 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 but then, like, the other side, he's kind of a wussy, so I don't know if he's actually going to do it, um, but some initial thoughts from Austin and Liz after his HOH win, first of all, like I was just saying, Austin is all about the show, like, he kept saying numerous times how he's gonna have so much airtime this week and like this is great for me these last two weeks are great for me uh he's all excited about his judas persona possibly making a comeback okay so then <laughs> game wise austin wants to make a deal with james and meg he's having a great time with them He's loving it. He's broing out with James. It's great. So he wants to guarantee his and the twins' safety for next week, especially with Jackie potentially coming back into the house. It's kind of weird. He wants to make a deal with them, um, like, speaking for Jackie. He's like, if Jackie comes back in the house, she won't go after us, right? They're not Jackie. They can't make that deal for her. But anyway, Austin was telling Liz, like, he wanted to throw it this week, but... He had to protect the twins, and the only way he could be sure of that would be by winning. So then they're talking about nominations. Initially, Austin's thinking about nominating Johnny Mac and Steve as pawns, and then the backdoor target is... question mark? Is there even a backdoor target? I don't know. It was very confusing at first and the whole time. Uh, so then Steve and Johnny Mac were talking, and they're thinking that Austin is definitely targeting James this week. Huh? What? Were y'all at the meeting last week when you all agreed to take out Vanessa? I'm just a little confused by their thinking here. It just seems like they're always in the dark about a lot of things. Um, but Johnny Mac admits to Steve, he kind of threw that HOH competition. I mean, he didn't really, like, throw it, throw it, but he didn't try his best. It wasn't his best. So, <laughs> then they were talking about nominations. They think it's going to be some sort of combination of Meg, James, and Vanessa. We shall see, won't we? Um, so then, it's time for Vanessa to give Austin his instructions for the week, because she thinks she's running the show still. So, she's like, Austin, this is what you need to do. Put up the goblins and or Steve as pawns, and then Johnny Mac will be the replacement. We get rid of him. So she's after Johnny Mac this week. Uh, Austin is like, okay, um, that's cool, except, like, I don't want to put up Meg or James. So his reasoning is that uh, just in case Becky comes back next week, it's going to be really easy for them to put up the Austin twins as pawns if they do that to them this week. So that's his reasoning for that. 
I think he just wants to hang out with them. Um, but Austin does agree that Johnny Mac will be the target this week. It's kind of unclear if he's just saying that because he's talking to Vanessa or if he's for realsies, but... Again, we'll find out. So then Austin is talking to Megan James, and he's like, yeah, I was just talking to Vanessa. She's throwing your names out there for nominations. And they're like, surprise, surprise. Somebody took a bite out of my notes this week. Uh, or today, I mean. So then uh, Austin lets them know, Vanessa, she just brings out this random information again. Like, why did he not hear this sooner? But Vanessa told him that she heard from Shelly and Clay that Johnny Mac and Steve have a final two deal. Oh, snap. So, then he also says that Johnny Mac is the target this week. So maybe he really is, because he said that to Megan James. No. So then Austin gets his HOH room, he gets lots of goodies, he gets some photos, and a clown nose. It was a little random. Um, and his letter was from his mom and dad. <sighs> Liz was worried that it was going to be from his girlfriend. <laughs> But it wasn't. Um, yeah, so then after the HOH room reveal, the goblins stuck around for a little bit to chat with the Aust twins. And Austin is like, I just can't deal with Vanessa right now. But I don't think this is the week to go after her. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then uh, he's like, yeah, Vanessa like kind of threw the HOH this week, so maybe she'll be willing to throw it again next week. Or maybe I'll backdoor her. What's it gonna be, Austin? So then Meg and James are just like, yeah, yeah, we'll support you no matter what you wanna do. They're gonna say whatever, as long as Austin's like, I'm not putting you chickens up on the block. Uh, so they even volunteer to be have-nots again this week. It's Liz's turn, Liz and Julia. But they're just like, no, we'll do it. All right, so then Julia and Liz are chatting downstairs and Julia is not happy with Austin. She is pissed that he's grown out with James so much and it's like affecting his game now because Julia's like, James would come after us if he was in power. He would go for a big move. He would come after us. We can't be keeping him around like this. Uh, she also doesn't think that they should be going after Vanessa this week. She doesn't think that Vanessa's coming after them so like why are they gonna go after her and do the other side's dirty work? Julia's just not a happy camper right now. So then Steve gets his chance to talk to Austin up in the HOH room, and Austin straight up lies to Steve. He's just like, uh, I just wanted to let you know I can't put up Megan James initially on the block this week because I made a deal with James during the HOH competition. Did he, though? Like, maybe I missed it, but, like, I don't remember him doing that. Um... But he needed some sort of reason to give Steve for why he's not going to put up Meg and James. Because, like, Steve doesn't know that they're working together. If they actually are. So, Steve is realizing, like, whoa, am I going to be a pawn this week? And Austin's like, you might. Steve is really not into that. Uh, so then Vanessa comes in, and Vanessa's all like, yeah, I'll be a pawn this week or whatever. But Steve, if I'm a pawn and you're not on the block, you're going to have to vote out Johnny Mac. And... I know that's going to be really tough for you because you guys are so close, so wouldn't you want to be up on the block so you don't have to make that decision? <laughs> Smooth move, Vanessa! Smooth move. So then Vanessa leaves, and Austin is just like, you know what, Steve, you're all right. I'm going to put up Vanessa as the pawn, and if she goes home, oh well. Which sounds like awesome and all, but last night was super freaking annoying. It was a night of indecisiveness from Austin. So here's like a quick overview of what happened in the very early morning last night. Steve was very adamant about not being the pawn this week. Vanessa was very adamant about Steve being the pawn this week. So there was a lot of back and forth between those two. And uh, at the end of the night, not the end of the day, at the end of the night, Austin says that he is nominating Johnny Mac and Vanessa, and Vanessa is the target. So then this morning, Vanessa talks to Austin about the nominations, and she's just like, I don't think it's a good move to put me up this week. Like, I'm willing to be a pawn next week. She, uh, really? That's, like, so lame. But Austin eventually caves, and he's like, okay, Steve will be the pawn this week. Lame. So then later... 
Vanessa comes up with like the craziest things. She's like, Austin, you know, I was thinking about things and don't you think that maybe your family sent that photo of you with your gay friends like as a sign like you're supposed to stick with your gay friend in the house? And then it gets crazier because she's like, and I think like you got that clown nose in your HOH basket because you're supposed to go after one of the clowns, meaning Johnny Mac or James. Alright, so then Big Brother blocked the feeds for a little bit today uh, to switch out the dining room table. They got a smaller one because it is the final eight now. And uh, guess what? No have nots this week. How nice for everybody. Uh, so then Steve meets up with Austin and Liz in the HOH room. This is so ridiculous. It just keeps getting more and more ridiculous. So Steve agrees to be a pawn, but not against Johnny Mac. He does not want to be up against him. So then. He's saying that uh, if this happens, Johnny Mac is going to realize that he's expendable, they're going to lose him completely, and uh, Steve is like, you can put me up against Vanessa, and Austin's like, I don't know if I can do that. So then Austin flips back and forth a few more times, it is so annoying. So then Austin and Vanessa chat alone, and Austin wants some freaking answers from Vanessa. He's like, did you or did you not? know about the plan when you were HOH for James to throw the Battle of the Block competition when he, when he was up with Liz. So Vanessa finally admits to it. She's like, yes, I knew about it. Like, I was under a lot of pressure from the other side. I didn't want to tell you guys about it because I was trying to um, keep my end of the agreement, whatever. And I didn't end up backdooring you anyway, Austin. So, like, what's the big deal? <laughs> That's kind of a big deal. Uh, but anyway, they had the nomination ceremony. And Austin ended up nominating Johnny Mac and Steve. Oh, man. So it should be very interesting what happens with this power veto tomorrow. They will be having the Zingbot competition. I can't wait for Zingbot and all of his loveliness. So let me know what you guys think of uh, Austin's nominations in the comments. Do you think that was a good move for him? Let me know. And until tomorrow, much love.